Previously on Power Slap Road to the Title. Ah! Estonian prospect Merlis Musikis outlasted Johnny Anderson in a hard fought three round battle. Good slap! Tough as nails, McKinney Manu advanced to the second round after fellow super heavyweight Evian Scott was disqualified after two striker fouls. That's over. Then, 171. Chris Debo unexpectedly fell ill at the weigh-ins, putting his future in the competition in jeopardy. Now, Sean Kilmartin gets ready to take the stage. But who will he face? At stake, a spot in round two. One step closer to the final prize. A coveted spot at Power Slap 6. Woo! This is not the end. Don't think it's the end. It's not the end. No, no. Appreciate you. Yeah. Love you. Yeah. So after Chris Debo got sick and he went to the hospital last night, we found out that it was due to dehydration. You're amazing, man. Debo, you're amazing. When I weighed in, I didn't water load enough, and I got severely dehydrated and was not feeling good at all and ended up not being able to compete. Debo, Debo. So the commission decided not to clear him for the fight today. So we went ahead and called in one of our alternates. So there I was last night. They give me the call asking, can Slambo make 170 pounds on a day's notice? And Slambo, of course, can make 170 pounds on a day's notice, absolutely. Slambo's like my alter ego, I guess. Like, have you ever heard of John Rambo? I'm Ed Slambo. We're talking, boy. I'm such a nice guy. If it's hard to like get out of that and then go try to hurt somebody, so instead they come here and I can really like fuse into the Ed Slambo character. I told everyone Slambo was coming back, and yeah, here Slambo is. Oh, you're my we, we missed the square off. Huh? Oh, here we are. Yeah, brother. Yeah. You're talking shit. Yeah, I was gonna slap every single one of you. Every single one. Stop. I'll give you a stop. I'll give you a stop. I'll give you a stop. Is there a $300 glass? Come on, you're talking shit. Don't, don't touch me. Don't touch me. You have your shot. You have your shot. I have $300 sunglasses on, and he's fucking trying to headbutt me. Like, that's that's a no-no with Slambo. Like, those sunglasses mean a lot to me. I wear them everywhere, so kid's about to get cold clocked. Dude, he looks like a fucking Smurf that got smushed. Like, he has no upper lip. That shit just goes up. Just... What, what guy doing? looks like a fucking yeah. bean, dude. I'll smash this fucking guy, yeah? Get your name on the board, I'll let you do the honors. Let me just get Chris Chris off. Fill you in right there, brother. Flambo's in. I'm not gonna lose in round one, especially to that little Irish son of a bitch. He looks like a wet noodle. I almost like felt bad, and then he just got in my face, and now I'm like, oh, I'm gonna slap the shit out of the guy. I wanna go now, man. I'm gonna be waiting around him. I know, let me it's fucking right around go. Though, man. Yeah. Of all things, I think a life slaps a bit harder than any of these fellas I've seen so far. I live now in Athlone, in Ireland. I do uh, steel fabrication. And I'm in here for the long haul today. In to put the hours in, in for the graft. I have a daughter. I was about 19 when uh, she came along, so I had the choice of stay being a, a bit of a bum fighting on the streets or join the military, so that's exactly what I did, I joined the military. I was in the Naval Services in the Engineering Corps, and then I transferred into the Army to serve in on the 110th Infantry Battalion in Lebanon. Sports was never really my thing unless it fucking involved cracking some fellow with my right hand. I've never been in a slap fight, but uh, I don't think there's a difference between uh, getting a slap with a hand or a slap with a foot or a fucking shin, so... Here I am. You could do that Rubik's Cube real fast. Can I try? Yeah. You don't okay. care? 35 years old and I'm from Arnold, Missouri. I'm the black sheep of my family. I own a boxing gym and uh, I train boxers. I spend 10 hours a day training fighters and not for a lot of money. 
I do it for the win. I have no hobbies. I like to destroy things. Since I was little, wanted to be a world champion. I tried in wrestling, I tried in mixed martial arts, I tried in boxing. I won't stop trying until I'm dead. I know I haven't gotten a whole lot of time to work with you, but um, I know we're gonna get a little more work right now before you get started out there. Plant both got some power, you know? I like that one. You know, it's, I feel like you know I'm softening them up the first um, one, the second one just comes so fast. I would say start with the one. Start with If the you one. feel comfortable, start with the one. So they'll come up and they're, you know, you'll tell them right on one or whatever, and they'll ask if you're gonna measure, you tell them yes, okay? So then you can measure it up and then do that, just like Damn. you're doing it. Bam, go ahead. I'm one. I think I'm on a mission from the Lord right now, from Jesus Christ himself. I think he, he's pushing me in this direction to do some things, and I think when I got Jesus on my back, that's, uh, that's gonna be a hard guy to get through, you know? I can feel the fire burning. First lap, that's gonna end the fight. The first one is all it's gonna take. Sean Slambo's about to beat your ass. It's gonna be fast. First round knockout, absolutely. Never been rocked, never been sat down, and never been knocked out. Except with a hammer, so he doesn't have hammers for hands. We need to win this one. We got this. <laughs> So I'm just gonna put him out flat. That's it. Let's go, baby. Eddie, you little hillbilly. He faces his ugly ass, bro. Him? Yeah, go look at him. Face that ugly motherfucker. All right, gentlemen, to the center. Touch it. You gotta touch it with your waist. Chin out. And hold that position, okay? Stay there. All right, so are you ready? What did you got? I'm one. You're gonna go on one? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna measure? Mm hmm. Okay. He's gonna go right on one, he will measure. Eat that shit. That's your measure. Stepping fucking foul. God damn it. Yeah! yeah. Hey, be proud of your stepping. Oh That's what God. you do, you step. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, you teach him how to step. Up, I can't wait for you to fuck fucking little pussy. Chris, Chris stay over here. Shut the fuck up. Hey, you don't want that shit. Dog and all that shit. For a second, I almost felt bad about knocking out that little piece of shit. But in reality, is he, he almost headbutted and broke my, my $300 sunglasses. And that's not forgivable. He, he stepped on you, Bill. He stepped on you, so you won. But just take deep breaths until your head's clear. Kill Martin actually won the fight because his opponent stepped on him. But I'm not going to take that away from the yeah. other guy. He's a little cuckoo out there, but he still had a good nasty slap on him no matter what. He's gonna have the cheat to knock me down. He's not gonna keep me down. He's gonna have to come and meet me on the streets in Ireland and sort this out. Good job, brother. It just sucks that that shit happened. All right, Blue Fighter step. Disqualification winner will be red. It's unfortunate that I didn't get more time to be able to work with him on, on the techniques. That was a beautiful slap. Deep down, I know we can fix that.
a monstrous slap from Ed, but he ends up getting called for a foul and he gets DQ'd. You gotta give it to him though. He came in as a last minute replacement to replace Chris, made weight, showed us he does have some skills, and he's another guy that just needs a bit of coaching and could probably do well in this sport. So that's it for the first round of the competition, and, and I'm really impressed with the talent that we have this season. So the guys who won their fights will be moving on to round two with a couple of exceptions. Miles Jackson and Sean Kilmartin both won their fights by TQ, but they aren't gonna be medically cleared, so they will not be continuing on in the competition. There's also a few guys who lost their fights in round one, mostly because of lack of experience, but I saw potential in them, so we're gonna give them another chance in round two. I think that with more coaching, they could really do some damage in this sport. Brian Ellis, you gotta pay attention on your fouling and work on your technique. We're gonna keep you. We need you at a super oh, heavyweight. Super heavy? Yeah. Oh, I can eat? You can eat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm back. I'm super heavyweight now, though. Oh, shit. That's where you belong, motherfucker. That's where you belong. Eddie Brahima? Yeah. Like it. We think you got a ton of potential. We're gonna we're gonna bring you in as an ultimate. Evie and Scott. I think you got what it takes to be in this shit, man. You wanna stick around? Yes, sir. All right, man. Let's do this. Oh! Hey, ain't going nowhere, baby. Oh! What I tell you? Ain't going nowhere, baby. Oh. And Ed Smith. You obviously got to work on your fouling, but that was that was an incredible knockout. Thanks. We're gonna keep you. You are gonna keep yeah. me. They're gonna let me come back. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh my god! This is the most exciting sport. Welterweight champion, KO Chris Thomas. All he does is knock dudes out. This is my belt, my house. Emmanuel no love Moonies. Never be knocked out. Oh, I'd love to knock out Chris. Put him to sleep. Chris and Manny absolutely hate each other. These two will face off in a badass championship fight. Welcome back to the fight capital of the world. Tonight we got a real. Oh, okay. That's called a love slot. Really? Yeah, would you like another? Hmm. Yeah, I think I would. Get 10 stickers for only $1 and slap some love on your laptop, water bottle, or best friend. My lady from there. What? I mean, I'm like, I lost. I don't I care. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't they care. don't I'm care. We're over here like. <laughs> While it's always great to give good news, we unfortunately had to say goodbye to those who are not moving on to round two. Jonathan Correa, Ryan Wallace, Will Woods, Johnny Anderson, Federico Benedetelli, Jonathan Boone, and Ronald Staten all lost their fights and got eliminated. Meanwhile, with Micah and Hayden fighting to a majority draw, I decided to keep Hayden around to get another look at him since Mike has already fought for us before. And with that, the second round of the competition is underway. Both teams have new members joining them. Team Thomas is welcoming Colton Cole, one of the four fighters that earned a buy in round one. And with Brian Ellis moving up to super heavyweight and Evian sticking around, we brought in a new super heavyweight, Lorenzo Florian, to step in and give us an even number in the division. Also, Hayden Southall will be moving from Manny's team to Chris's team to balance out the super heavyweights. So Team Inez is welcoming three fighters who earned first round buys. You got Garrett Grimes, Cody Bilal, and Slappy Joe Landman. And in the first fight of round two, it'll be Joe facing off against round one winner, Brandon Bordeaux, in what is sure to be a badass matchup. We got three new guys today. To start off the top, we got Lorenzo, the super heavyweight. I'm excited about him. Oh, fucking KO Chris, yeah. five and oh, champ, baby. Let's go, Shit. My other one was Colton Cole. He's got a nasty slap. And then my last one is the sumo. His name is Hayden. Well, obviously, they've seen a lot more energy in me, so we're going to get that going. OK. As you're 400 pounds, they're going to feel that weight. 
After the first round, they needed to even out the board, move me over to Team KO Chris. He's welcomed me with open arms. I'm pretty excited to learn a few things. You got, you got some good slaps. I bet you could knock the guys out. Uh, feeling great. Face is healing up a little bit. Just had a couple little battle wounds, and everything's going pretty well. First one I hit him, I watched his eyes. And he goes, the way he told me back at the house, he's like, that fucking first one, he's like, I ain't ever been hit like that. So he said, it rocked the hell out of me. But, but then I kind of also hit, like, great and all right. But I feel like in the next two slaps, it should have been up and down. Brendan's got so much more potential. Because the strength's there, he's got the build. Like, if he just focuses in and a little bit more, I feel like he just needs to push through more, like, but so far, he's good. Yeah, I like him as a guy, his soul, his heart, everything's in the right place. Oh, I stepped on that, I stepped on that. Just try to stand like this. Yeah. And just feel like you're loose. You don't have to just get loose. Yeah. You got some power, though, that's for sure, brother. You guys gotta fucking tell these guys to get the fuck out of here. Hey, black team, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. The fuck? You guys look menacing now. There we go. It's looking a little meaner today. We're in this bitch. I'm out this bitch. You're out? I think we have to go. It's their turn. Hey, if you guys want to sit in on a real practice, let me know. Yeah. Teach you how to step. Teach you how to step. Huh? Teach you how to step. I don't even understand what you're saying, brother. How to step. Yeah. Maybe yeah. we'll teach you how to speak. You know I don't talk till the day, day comes, baby. I'll get you a dictionary. Hey. Maybe some grammar lessons. Hey, I'm 100% right right now, baby. Yeah, we'll get you there. Don't yeah. worry, Chris. Send your ass yeah, back I'm to grade school. I'm going to take that hair color off right there for you, baby. <laughs> he just said, you guys want to come sit in a real session? Shut the fuck up. You and when I said, what, you got to teach him how to step? Man, he looks at me weird. You can feel the energy. God, I'm so mad. I don't have no time for games anymore. I did that shit with Slap Jesus. I'm done. You calm down. You apologize. Yeah. <laughs> you be nice to me now. Chris is just a weird guy. I don't know. I never had any problems with him previous. I never really even spoke to him, you know, other than good things. And he kind of just tripped out on me one day. And there ain't no scared of good. Come on. Let's go. Oh, hey, you better Come on, chill you out. might be a bully. You better Let's chill go. out. You better chill, chill out. out. Let's get it. You're, you're asking for it, Chris. You're asking I'm for asking it. for what? Get it, it then. You know, I took it as it is. He wants to act like that. It's time for me to put him in his place. I'm getting fucking mad, man. You guys are lucky. I'm taking Manny out, without a doubt in my mind. My toes are shaking right now. I want to eat his ass alive. I'm not, don't take that. I don't want to eat his ass alive, but I want to eat him alive. We got a couple guys coming in. Obviously, we lost a couple guys last night. You know, the guys got impressive knockouts, got that first round by. So we're gonna add some new guys to our team. We introduce them, welcome in. And you know, I was fortunate to uh, go ahead and get those guys who got the first round by. Garrett. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Cody. And Joe. So I'm real excited to see what they have, what they help us with, and you know what they have to offer in the next round. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's going on? Didn't get me. What's up, brother? I'm Joseph Lamon. I'm uh, 25 years old, and I'm from Levittown, Pennsylvania. I got two boys, uh, eight month old and a seven year old, Caleb and Joey. I'm a family guy. You see me, I'm covered in tattoos. It's that you don't think, but when I come home, I'm I'm playing with the puppets with my kids and throwing them around. <laughs> I'll do anything for my kids, and my kids need things, and I'm gonna earn that money to go get anything my kids want. I dropped out of high school. I had a kid at 18 years old, and I was still in 12th grade, so I left, and I feel like I wasted my athletic talent. So this gives me the opportunity to show myself. It's, it's everything. Oh, my hand hurts. <laughs> to the scale, Brandon Bordeaux. Sloppy Joe, he's a good guy, I love him. But uh, I don't think his chin's there. And uh, Brandon, he's shown he has a chin. And uh, he can hit too, so. 
I have to go with Brandon decision. They're gonna go all three rounds. One eighty-four and a half. <laughs> to the scale, Joseph Landman. He's got a little strength to him to be such a little guy. I feel like he's gonna knock Brandon out. One eighty-six. Slappy Joe Landman not only earned a buy in the first round of the fights, but. He also has the highest human force numbers. An unbelievable slap score of 1,021. I am excited to see him perform again. But beating Brandon will not be easy. Brandon showed in the first fight against Eddie that he has a rock solid chin, and obviously he has excellent technique. This kid is the real deal. This is the perfect fight to kick off the second round of the competition. The winner of this matchup earns a spot at Power Slap 6, so the stakes could not be higher. Thank you. Would you like another? Hmm. Yeah, I think I would. Get 10 stickers for only $1 and slap some love on your laptop, water bottle, or best friend. What makes me dangerous as an opponent is uh, I'm extremely competitive, so... You know, when I sign up to do something, uh, I'm gonna bust my ass. I hit hard, that's all I can say. I know I know I hit hard as fuck, you know? I got one of the top hardest hits in the house. Oh yeah, those are stingers. I'm not in this just to take part. I'm here to take over. I'm here to take over this division. That's what I've been working for. That's what I'm going to continue to work for, and that's what I'm going to bust my ass for every single day. I'm going to get that title, and then I will sit here and defend it over and over and over again. Fuck. Go, me. Let's go, baby. I'm the fucking best. Joe, you're a great guy, but I've got big dreams and big goals in this, and you're the next one standing in the way. So unfortunately, I got to put you out and continue my road to the title. Winning that belt would mean the world to me and just show my kids that, like, you know, you put your mind to something, you're gonna get it. I love you, Brandon, but I got kids at home, man. I'm gonna come out with a win, no matter what. Right on three. Red is slapping first, right on three. You must measure. What's two? That's a measure. One, two. Easy, Joe. Easy. Let's go. Get a sip of water. You're good. You're good. You got yourself, you got yourself a fight now. Let's go, baby. It's an easy one. You took that. No fucking problem. Huh? Chin out. Hold that position. Put your chin out a little bit. Put yeah. your chin out a little bit. Recover. Let's go, Joe. Okay. One and done, buddy. Got this, bro. Let's finish it. In there. Okay. Right hand on three. Right hand on three. You must measure. Measure. One. Two. Yeah. 
Let me see first real quick. I need you to come back a little bit more. I need you to push in. Okay? Through? Yeah, push through. Through? Yeah. Good slap. You were just off slightly. Measure up just a little bit closer, okay, bud? Okay. Okay. You good, Joe. We're right down, eat this one. Right on three? Come on. Right on three. Let's measure. Measure. One, two, explode. Let's go! Let's go. Oh. Oh. That was a hard one. Yeah. You're doing, the, you're doing the damage. You're good. Keep going. That's a good one. Let's get a better slap on this one, OK? Change the tone of this fight right here, OK? Mm -hmm. Hold your position. Okay. Chin out. Right hand on three? Right hand on three. You must measure, OK? Measure. All day, baby. One, two. There we go, Good slap. Deep breath, deep breath. You don't have to rush it. Take your time. You got a minute. You're good. You got it. You're doing your hitting just perfectly. Just explode through here. We're good. We'll bite down. You got to eat this one and give a big fucking reaction. A good one, okay, bud? All right. Easy, Joe. You ate the first two, no problem, Joe. This one's easy. Right on three? Right on three. You must measure, all right? Gotcha. Deep breath. You got a minute. That's your measure. One. Two. Uh, uh, uh. Your last one. Last one. You gotta finish this fight. Let's finish this fight. Oh, it's close. Okay. Make a big fucking statement, okay? Big fucking statement. You got this, bud. You got some time. We're right on one. Right on one. Right on one. Yeah, you're gonna measure? Yeah. You're with, gonna the me measure. with a measure, okay. That's your measure. Nope. Yeah. That was a good slap. Okay. Come here, guys. Come here. Blue. Winner, red, unanimous decision. Brandon was doing the more damage, and Brandon was eating him a lot better, just like boom, and brushing him off. Joe and Brandon, I knew it was going to be a tough fight. Joe, unfortunately, didn't come up with the win. But definitely proud of Joe. It was, it was a good fight for him. Right. I'm always glad to get a win. But for myself, I hold myself to a high standard. So you know what I mean? I feel like I need to go out there and get to finish. So now that I'm in the finale, I'm going to go home, bust my ass. We're, we're going to work on pick up the power a little bit and uh, start putting some people down. You got a chin like on. Oh, okay. I'm happy. He couldn't rock me. I was fine the whole time. I'm happy with the kind of loss I took. I didn't go down. I, I fought my hardest. I get to go home, work 10 times harder, come back, do it again. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Dan. Great. Congrats, buddy. The first fight of the second round was very impressive. Joe and Brandon both delivered a clean fight, no fouls, and also showed that they have unbelievable chins. After three rounds, Brandon won the decision and will be moving on to the fight at Power Slap 6. But I will not be surprised if I see Slappy Joe compete again at some point down the road. A very entertaining fight. Next up, Super Heavyweights take center stage as Bikini Big Mac Manu and Hayden Sumo Slapper Southall will battle it out for a spot in the live finale. Next to the scale, Hayden, South Hall. Hayden versus McKinney. You know, I've, I've gotten to know them both pretty well throughout the house. Both amazing men. I think it's going to be a decision. Those, those both have an incredible heart. 428 pounds. Yeah, yeah. To the scale, McKinney Manu. You said the best to last, baby. I think McKinney's going to get that one. I think he's got a little bit more power. 
Um, I think that's going to probably go all three rounds, but I think McKinney wins that one. I didn't mean to break the skill. 421 pounds. Hey, this is 421, that's 428. Look at the difference, baby. This is what the super heavyweights are all about. These two came in at a massive 850 pounds of combined weight. Now we're going to see if they can turn that into actual power. Both of these guys are coming into this one with quite a bit to prove after a, a disappointing first couple of fights. They're evenly matched when it comes to slap score, so I'm hoping for fireworks during this fight. Yeah, let's go, baby. <laughs> On the next episode of Power Slap Road to the Title, the biggest super heavyweights in the competition go head to head in round two in a battle of professional sumo wrestlers. Hayden, the sumo slapper Southall. I want to be the best in my weight class. I want to be the best in the world. Gets a second chance to prove his worth as he faces Samoan Makini Big Mac Manu. You've never been hit as hard as I'm going to hit you. At the house, tensions boil over between the Garretts. Nobody down here is worried about you. Just chill out. Come up to a five. I will. As Grimes and Blakesley come to blows. Oh, then, after getting a first round by, middleweight Grimes finally gets his turn in the spotlight. Someone needs to bring him a pillow and a blanket. He's going to be out for a minute. As he faces Estonian Special Forces heavy hitter, Merlis Action Jackson Musikis. Get it. I must break it. Who will prevail and earn a spot? At Power Slap 6. That was a damn good fucking slap.